So hello everyone. We're going to start just like always before starting I want you to know that uh, we are recording this encounter for the archive and we are recording we are recording it in with two different modalities this time increasing our technical capacities. So again, hello everyone, and welcome to the closing plenary session of the European edition of the Universal Declaration of Urban Rights. So, somebody's asking. Okay, hello. El Sobal. Okay, so. The session will be conducted by Luisa myself. I will be acting as the presidency table of the parliament this evening. We are here in this closing session to conclude the parliamentary cycle of the European Declaration of Urban Rights. And uh, we will uh, begin with the act of opening the session by welcoming all of you and especially welcoming our ambassadors. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here with us today on this very special moment. We are closing the European Declaration of Urban Rights project today with this virtual encounter. And uh, we are a bit nervous, but very excited. This is our last encounter. So welcome everyone to this, again, prototype. First among all, I want to give a special recognition to all of our participants with that we've been participating with so much interest and bringing so much magic to this project from the depths of our hearts thank you very much to express this uh, gratitude we are going to begin with a digital synchronous clap warm-up it's very basic but uh, not as easy to implement i want you all to put your micros on and uh, for a moment and we are going to try to make a distributed uh, synchronous clap. I'm gonna say one, two, three, and then I'm gonna do a clap. And then we are gonna try to do it all at the same time. Okay. okay. Everyone ready? All the mics. Open mic. On. Oh, mics. No, no, no. Open your mic. <laughs> We're going to do a small test and then let's see what happens. It's going to be one, two, three, clap. Okay? Okay. Everybody ready? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, clap. Oh. That was super close. Wow. Piece of cake. Wow. <laughs> and I listened to everyone. I thought uh, it would be like I listened to only one or two. Okay. Thank you very much. That was impressive. So. After this synchronization warm up, I will explain you briefly what is uh, the program for today by reading the order of the day. For the first section, Aurora will do a project devolution, showing us the insight of the overall development of the project and the work that uh, we all have been doing on our Miro board. That's, that was, that's going to be to go deeply inside the heart of the project. On the second part uh, will be your time to share your embassy parliamentary experiences with everyone ending up by telling us about your future plans and the next steps that you're planning with your embassies. For the third section, we will have the common future activity, again conducted by Aurora, and uh, we will be using the mirror board. That's, that's what I was saying. We're actually going to use the mirror board in each of the sections. And uh, for closing, we will have a quick uh, Zoom choreographic experiment. So finally, we are going to start with the first point of the order. And I will pass the word to Aurora for the project devolution. Aurora, you've got uh, 15 minutes and I give you the word. Okay, thank you, Luisa. Um, 
¿Cómo se ve esto? ¿Se ve bien? ¿Mal? Ok, thank you. Vale, well. Uh, Very well. Thank you, Luis. So, uh, I don't know how I'm recording now, but. Uh, so, que está bien. Ok, well. Uh, I'm going to repeat Luis saying thank you to all of you. It's been uh, amazing to work with you um, during all this whole edition. And as Luis was saying, we, will, we want to show you a little bit what are we doing what, uh, with all the materials you have produced and with all the experiences and the learnings we've got through your prototypes, your sessions, your understanding. First, um, this is the first time, this is the first uh, edition we use officially the figure of ambassadors. And I think it's, uh, it's been a great success. You've worked a lot and you've been uh, like doing a lot of work with the project. It's been maybe too much, I don't know. Um, but the thing is that the, the main idea of the of this project of the declaration, well, I don't know if you if you're aware that the project uh, began before SDGs were approved. Uh, in fact, we sent the the project as a proposal of um, a parallel activity uh, to the Quito meeting in 2016 when you and Habitat was signing the new urban agenda. So the thing is that um, mm -hmm. I'm not presenting. I'm presenting right now. Okay. So the thing is that um, for us, this idea of connect. Uh, like a global goal or um, a universal aim with local knowledge, it's been present for the whole time during the project. And we've been saying this, that um, the urban dynamics were the, um, the main point of, of the whole thing, because the lifestyle, infrastructures, institutions, and the socioeconomic system that um, cities used to, to put in the middle of the of the agenda uh, have like a global impact and we used to say that taking care of urban beings is like taking care of the whole planet but we wanted to do this in a different way we were like really concerned with this idea of um european male european almost male european architects like gathering taking decisions for and urbanizing the whole planet with these ideas. So we wanted to do it in a completely different way. And I have here, we've been doing like a, addressing these contemporary issues in different way for a long time. We've been doing these uh, editions since 2011 like doing parliaments, doing interviews, doing an archive, doing a lot of different stuff and trying to get to know people like you, like ambassadors or people who are able to connect the main points and the main issues of their territories uh, with local knowledge. Um, at the beginning, we, we get, uh, we, we try, to, to connect with urban practitioners, municipal administrations, local inhabitants, scholars. Um, but it was uh, really difficult at the end. This is like a kind of um, analysis that we've, we've been going through because at the end in this COVID uh, context and with this kind of infrastructure, we are almost uh, yeah really alike between each other. We are like, uh, it's been like difficult to find a common language. It's been difficult to to connect with people with um, a digital gap or who, with people who's not comfortable speaking in English. And those are challenges that you've been like uh, facing with your your parliaments, and it's been amazing. And we are trying to put all this information together in like a kit or a do-it-yourself parliament in order to to spread uh, this idea of connect territories and connect 
uh, global issues since the local knowledge on the situated point of view. So we are like trying to extract a lot of information of your parliaments. We are also um, uh, rethinking about the idea of what is a parliament. So you have the bureau completely open for you, so you can put post-its or you can go deeper into the information because uh, I, I attached the Excel documents with all the names of all the people who's been involved in all the sessions and so on, and all the descriptions, it's everything open to you. And by now, we wanted to share with other ambassadors your experience preparing the um, well, as we are doing this, uh, I was saying this, uh, um, this handbook is based on your learnings. So we are doing this like separating step, different steps, steps on the journey. I don't know if Luisa, do you want to share a bit on this? On we are separating. To say that it's been amazing going through all the evaluations and all the learnings that you extracting from each of the of the embassies and the particularities of each of the project hmm. i've been for a month like uh, going back through all that and it's been so great thank you <laughs> okay it's uh it's still a work in progress but we are like trying to to define somehow um how to um, set up a parliament uh, in any case in each uh, place in Europe or wherever, at least for uh, people speaking in English, <laughs> because I, I, unless you want to translate it, because it would be, it would be amazing. And that's more or less an overview of what we've, we've been working on. But we want to to spend a few minutes like listening to you. We have also a lot of interest in the next steps of the project. We are like uh, trying to figure out how uh, un the Universal Declaration would be in 2012-21. And I don't know. I think we can go to the to the second part. What do you think, Lisa? Thank you. you Thank you, Aurora, for the amazing tour. Yes, of course. Now is the time to continue with the second block. And uh, we are going to give you, each one of you, as you can see in the mirror, uh, four or five minutes so you can share your parliament experience. Many of you uh, were telling us that uh, that you really wanted to hear how was the experience of other of a other parliament and we thought it was a great moment to share uh like the insight of the of each of the local parliaments with everybody so we'll have uh, four or five minutes to express and share your ex parliamentary experience and uh, three or four more minutes for each one of you to tell us about your next steps or your future plans with the embassy with your initiative related to the to the project aurora will just make you a brief resume of what are we going to what are we expecting for this uh, next year for this uh, 2021 that it comes with a lot of hope after the last uh, digital year we are kind of uh, hoping that some of the experience now every day between this virtual and the real world we are very uh, uh, happy to discover what was the, the learnings of all this digital and how we can every day that into another uh, dimension multi-dimensional hybrid and physics such as you have been doing learning from you always so um uh, I will be telling you the one more time uh, when you have uh, one minute left. Sorry, because of uh, cutting the times to everyone, but uh, we have to be, I mean, in order not to be very delayed for the last part, I will be telling you when there is uh, one minute left. 
thank you for your consideration and for your cooperation in respecting the times of all the embassies. So, the first. Can, can I just add? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just uh, uh, quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. If while well, you are navigating the mirror, you can change whatever you want. Okay. It's like a work in progress. It's a working document. And mm -hmm. if you are not comfortable on how we have defined whatever, you can change it as you want. Yeah, there's also, uh, for this, we're going to be in the, the experience in these uh, three columns that we have here on the mirror in the middle one. And uh, if there's any comment to the, to the sharing experience of any of the embassies, please uh, comment it or post it or draw it or whatever you want uh, during the during the explanation of each of the embassies we can use the mirror for comment anything you want okay so the first one is our digital ambassador montera 34 alfonso that we use always to begin he's our leader thank you very much hi everyone um okay so five minutes to to tell you uh more or less the the goal of the embassy i i'm asking you because i'm not sure what i have to tell uh so more or less is the goal of the of the embassy and then um the process we have followed and some learnings and some travels we have found no is that okay? Mm. Yeah, that would be okay. Perfect. Or about the experience of being an ambassador. For example, imagine yourself telling other, <laughs> <laughs> mentoring other, <laughs> something like this. Uh, I, I, I really like uh, that uh, you call me Mr. Ambassador. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay, so um, the 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 first idea of the of the embassy or the main goal of the embassy uh, was to think about uh, the digital infrastructure that we needed uh, for the develop for the development of the of the project that was the the starting point and to to think about that we um, we have wondered um, some questions. Uh, for example, how to set up a comfortable digital spaces, uh, digital space to communicate, uh, or how to set up uh, efficient spaces, digital spaces to document the the process. Um, how to think in a in a collective way. Uh, and how to uh, about these spaces um but when we thought about the the session that we did in in october um uh, we realized that um asking this question directly wasn't wasn't funny <laughs> it's um are very serious questions and more or less uh, all of us uh, we, we know the answer because we use all the time the same tools and uh, there is all the time a good uh, answer to these kind of questions. I mean, uh, if you ask uh, anybody, uh, what tool do I need to use to communicate uh, over the internet with uh, a lot of people? They are going to say to, to, say to you, okay, you can use uh, WhatsApp, uh, you can use Telegram, you can use, I mean, uh, we know all of us the, the tools. So uh, in the session, we try to, to, to change a little bit the, the starting point. And uh, we, we came up with this idea of invisible conversations. This idea of invisible conversations was uh, because uh, uh, it's, a, it's a thing that uh, happens all the time in all the organizations. There are uh, these invisible conversation and we, we have to deal with, with them. And it was like an excuse 
to to talk about uh, important things that uh, we need to to think about to to uh, to set up a, a, a digital infrastructure. Um, so that was the the starting point, and um, we we wanted also to 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 invite some some people from outside of the project. To, to have their points of view, uh, their experiences. Um, and um, well, I, I, I'm going to say uh, one uh, good thing uh, about this process um, uh, we follow and uh, one bad thing. Uh, um, I think that the, the, the main good thing uh, we achieved with this, this conversation about uh, invisible conversation was that uh, uh, we break this, this idea of absolute truth about technology. Because uh, most of the time when we speak uh, about technology and we, when we think about it, uh, um, we try to find the solution, the good solution. Uh, and most of the times, from my experience, um, this solution maybe is, is a right one, uh, theoretically, but not for the, for the case we, we are in, in that moment. So um, talking about this invisible conversation with other people and in a more or less free, freely way, um, break this, this idea of absolute truth, um, this idea of, of the, 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 the decision that are all the time good and the decision that are all the, all the time bad. Um, I, give you, I give you some, some examples. Uh, of um, of ideas that came up in the in the session, um, Alfonso. Sorry, one more minute. Yeah. Okay, I'm finishing. Thank you, Luiso. Uh, and example, then two minutes for the future. Okay. Pascual said in the one of the on the expert one of the expert that we invited said that uh, we don't need to have all the information all the time. Normally, uh, this is not a, a, a good idea. I mean, uh, we associate this idea with, with uh, a bad uh, situation. But why not? If we if if we have uh, just some information, uh, we don't uh, concern about having all the information. It's okay. It's just an, an example. Um, uh, Dome said also that. Um, there is a misunderstanding all the time. So we need to, to, to realize that and to deal with them, not to avoid them. Another example. Um, and the bad thing, uh, maybe uh, one thing that I, I don't like about the process is um, uh, we have spoken a lot from a theoretical point of view and we didn't um, translate these ideas into, into action, maybe, in, uh, in, in all the process, in all the process, yeah. Uh, that's all. And, and what about future? your next steps? What about your, the future of the digital uh, embassy? How do you yeah, imagine I, it? I, I really don't know, but um, I think this idea uh, of thinking about the digital infrastructure uh, using a particular concept like invisible conversation that are wider than the project it, itself we are we are thinking about is is a good format and another good format also is to think uh, uh, digital infrastructure um, uh, in a practical way like we have done, uh, for example, to, 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 to give uh, um, a solution to a, to a process that we are, we are doing in, right now. 
So um, I would like to, to, to make a, a, a second round of this uh, format, uh, choose another, another concept like invisible conversation, uh, uh, choose another, another process like this European edition of urban rights and, and, and do more or less the, the same process. Thank you very much, Alfonso. Thank you, the, the digital ambassador, the digital embassy. It's been amazing to have a, an embassy that is not actually in a in a real in a real location. No, it's everywhere. It's something that concerns everywhere. And I have to say that we we never thought about this at the beginning of the project. It was going to be all the embassies would have a location, and it was on the process of talking to you through RES that we that we thought maybe we need this. Wait. Okay, so next one. Next ones are you Litsia and Matza, Berlin Embassy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello. Do you think we can share our screen? Yeah. Of course. I don't know if it works. Does it work? It works very well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so Basha is shy, so I start to talk. <laughs> uh, <not> just. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I also want to thank you, uh, Louise and Aurora and Natasha and uh, the whole uh, Zulu Arc. Um, team to um, for initiating and uh, this project and inviting us as ambassadors uh, i think we were really excited when we got the invitation and uh, that is why maybe <laughs> we were also overdoing with our uh, parliament and organizing a, a, a megalomanic um, a session in berlin i mean we are, i think we are the only one who managed to um, have a real life session kind of ignoring your instruction that it should be a kind of digital parliament because we were tired of being uh, on zooms and uh, webex and uh, big blue button and so on we wanted to meet people in person and uh, create the occasion to do so so um, our session was a bit complex we had uh, uh, many machines and uh, that we had to uh, manage the two of us which who are not specific very very um, um, technological uh, uh, te technologically skilled so it was a big challenge i think this is one of the challenges and the thing that we learned that it's difficult to manage analogic and digital exchange at the same time and that we would have needed a bit more of assist assistant on site to an assistant, a, te uh, a technician on site to help us dealing with this. And um, so our session was a theoretical, the, the theoretical part, an exchange part, and the uh, body um, bodily uh, body activation um, choreographed by a self defense training trainer in trainer. And uh, I think that we kind of uh, were running uh, uh, over time. Uh, we were, um, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I think we, we took a lot of uh, energy to manage this uh, public part that we wanted to have uh, with the theoretical inputs. And then we're kind of running the rest of the day uh, um, uh, behind our schedule. Uh, but um, yeah, I think all in all, we really thought that this was a very important uh, topic to uh, bring up. Maybe go down and show a little bit of pictures. This is a part of the documentation. You can find it also on our website, apart from the Tulo Arc. Since two and a half minutes. See, two and a half minutes, yeah. <laughs> and um, mm, yeah, I think this, uh, what, what my learning personally is that. Uh, Combining digital and analogic is a challenge. And another thing is that uh, we, what I learned and what I really appreciated also from the other participants uh, to the session was that uh, uh, there is a lot of um, openness for this self and, and joy in this uh, exercise of self criticizing uh, and um, 
self-analyzing or analyzing our practices of what they've been doing until now. Yes, um, I would maybe like to add following up the digital session that I, I really enjoyed this first conversation we had in, in the group about digital tools and how to lead this uh, invisible conversation in parallel. It was also the first discussion we had with um, Alfonso and Aurora uh, touching on these subjects. And uh, in my eyes, it was a big, um, big success. The session in the sense when we addressed these topics that it came out how relevant they were for everybody and how much um, there was to say and how much there was to share and how much you could learn from mutual experiences. So it was really a, a great moment in the sense that we met with women we knew, we had had dinners with, we had had projects with, but we never had this uh, intense moment of exchanging on how we work together and um, how we articulate, how we feel about being in positions, how we are paid. Um, yeah, it was a lot of learning. As Licha said, in the end, the two of us didn't have the time to learn so much because we were very busy. Um, and I think there was this aspect of being in two different um, worlds, the virtual world in the beginning and the physical world that we kind of did were colliding. But it was also what we enjoy, uh, wanted to find out how much they could interchange that we had one um, expert Natalie Bayer giving a lecture and she said she was feeling so weird to talk online and not see the reactions of the people but you could really feel it strongly in our setting because people were sitting in a room together and somebody had to be there join virtually and now we are supposed to, I think I want to add something yes. before the future Yes. You are, we wanted to speak about the future. Yes. Is that uh, uh, we spend uh, one day or one and a half, half a day preparing uh, our uh, setting. So it was not only the digital setting, but also as you maybe have seen in the pictures, we, we bought plants, had candles, had nice food, uh, um, uh, put on the eating, uh, try to make this place as good water bottles too because it was in a cold uh, month and we tried to make these places as comfortable as possible also to um, i mean we, we we live in this time of social distancing so we thought it was important that uh, if we are to meet in a space this space uh, uh, is uh, comfortable and uh, and warm and um, I really appreciate that everybody noticed that we put effort in doing this, even if it was very small uh, things that we did. I uh, think that was uh, for me also learning um, uh, to welcome people as if we were hosts in our homes. Uh, mm -hmm. This was important. Yeah. Also, the, our great cook, <laughs> um, Paula, she, she took the challenge of making a meal that would be um, um, as hygienically um, Correct. <laughs> Correct as possible. So she wouldn't, she was the only one who would touch food and she packed everything in paper bags. And it was also an amazing um, meal because we had this reflection on how to eat together if you cannot be together. And um, yeah, I think this was a nice part also that we got a lot of good feedback on. Thank, Thank you. Me. You have two more minutes for speaking about the future. Yes. About your next steps. So our next steps uh, were a follow-up was a thank you mail to everybody who participated online and offline uh, if there was interest to meet again and uh, we proposed two dates one of which has already expired, uh, passed and one of which is next Wednesday where we got the feedback of uh, a couple of people who would like to join um, on another meeting. And since uh, Corona restrictions are still quite um, uh, sharp in Germany, we are meeting next Wednesday with a group of six people to make a walk on the Temple of Affeld. And we, uh, we really got the impression that people wanted to follow up um, on a more permanent level of this format of discussing and exchanging, but also activating the body um, and empower, empowering through different tools. Uh, so we want to maybe find a regular format for it.
Yeah, and uh, we already got actually we are talk, talking in, in, in conversation to, to have another sessions with the budget where we can uh, provide food and uh, training and so on. Then we will probably happen in the summer, but we will tell you, of course, um, when we do it. So we go on. We have two next sessions planned. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, wow. Now you have to. The amazing work you've done uh, curating the space and, and taking care of all that. Now you have to bring it into Tempelhof and like uh, prepare all that big space open. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wish I could be on that uh, curating and walks and talking walks. That's an amazing. Bueno. Um, thank you very much, Lithia and Massa. We're going to continue with uh, Bologna uh, Alfredo. Hola, hi. Hi, everyone. Alfredo. And um, I'm sorry for my very bad um, English. I hope that if you don't understand something, ask me again. And then um, to talk about our uh, experience, um, it's, it was very, very difficult, I think, because Ah, first of all, I want to thank you to, to Luis, Aurora, the, the, the Alfonso. They did a very, very great job. And uh, we learned a lot during these sessions. And um, talking about our experience, it was very difficult, I think, because we was at, uh, our project was at the very beginning of the... Um, um, we just uh, started the project and so it was very difficult but very interesting uh, the area where we focused uh, is it's very very big where there is a lot of people association groups that opening but uh, they don't have a connection between them and then um, so we the thing that we uh, think was a uh, try to bring some uh, practice experiences close to our area to to show how uh, we can um, do something in uh, this area no and so we start to investigate and research and we we travel between the uh, close places and uh, meeting peoples that um, tell us uh, their experience in and their practice. We collected in um in a very short documentary that you can see in the web, I think, or in the mirror. It was very interesting in the, um, uh, the practices that we choose was uh, very uh, different between them. Uh, but very interesting one opening with the cultural um, with, with the culture no in the public in the um, natural spaces and this microcosmy other practice was about sports and so how with the um, how working with the sports you can do something and um, uh, doing a net in a natural space and another was um, with the um, social inclusion. And so there are uh, three uh, different practices that uh, help us to uh, see what we can do in this area. No? And after in the, um, in the parliament session, we invited um, all the people that participate in, in the um, documentary and the, some people that uh, uh, are interesting to make this net in this area. It was very interesting in, in I think, uh, first steps to uh, cre creating this net and, and, and see what's happened. And the next step, just today we talk about uh, the possibility of uh, make a um, very small cultural festival in the area this summer. Um, the municipality um, that see our project uh, 
agree with the idea and the and now we are looking for some financiation to make possible this um this little cultural festival um a covid free and with the digital content and uh, also a physical and uh, um, content to uh, leave the area during uh, this um, summer time. Ya está. Wow, so nice to hear. You're making like a small prototype of your project this summer. Yes. And with hope. many, many learnings, no? From the, from the European edition. Yeah. Wow. I'm so impressed. That's so nice to hear. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you, you too. Okay, so next one is uh, Couserans, Ariège, uh, Alfonso, you're back here. They gave me, they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> we want you. It's weird, it's weird. As we said uh, in, in France, uh, I changed my makeup and now I'm uh, uh, Couserans ambassador. Um, it's a pity that the, the rest of the team um, is not here today, the rest of Ariès team, but it, it wasn't possible. So um, I'm going to tell you about the, the process that we have done in, in Cusera, in Ariès, in this uh, rural territory in the south of France, in the Pyrenees. Um, uh, the idea was very simple, uh, was to, to make a podcast uh, because we like uh, to work with sound, with sound. We have in, in our team people that is work very well with uh, sound. And uh, um, the other idea was to, to, to escape a little bit from this um, um, uh, collective discussion where uh, if you talk uh, well, uh, you uh, you are going to 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 say a lot of things, things, and if you don't, uh, you are going to say nothing. So this format for us is not good, and is very common here in in Arries, and all the time uh, is the same people that speak. So uh, we we have tried to to escape from this format. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we wanted to, to, to think about the territory. And uh, we wanted to think about the territory um, also in a, deep, in a deep diverse way. Uh, what means that uh, everyone speaking or, or talking about uh, uh, this territory uh, must be uh, comfortable. So uh, we thought that it uh, was better to think um, from um, personal experiences and not uh, from, uh, at, uh, I said in, in, the, in the digital embassy, I changed my cap, uh, um, not speaking from absolute truth, but for, from a relative point of view. Um, and, and we thought that uh, speaking about the confinement uh, was a, a, a very good idea because uh, confinement is a, is a common experience to everyone and everyone can speak about uh, his or her experience uh, living the confinement here in Arries. And uh, it's an excuse to, to, to talk and to think about the territory from our needs or from our, um, I don't know, uh, problems from our... So that, that was the, the starting point, a podcast uh, with a format of peer-to-peer -peer conversation, uh, again, to, to, to speak freely 
um, uh, and not in, in, a, in a collective way. Uh, with this idea, we have chosen um, 10 people from, from here, uh, diverse people, uh, a teacher, a school teacher, uh, uh, a doctor from the local hospital here, um, a researcher from a local uh, researcher, national researcher center, um, some kids uh, of different ages, um, uh, a person, uh, an old person, I don't know, uh, many people. You can, you can listen to, the, to this conversation we had in the, in the site we created. Uh, I think it's in the, in the middle board. Um, so this is, it was more or less the, the project, the process. Uh, and then the, the session we had in December, um, we put all the, um, all the conversation we had, peer-to-peer uh, -peer conversation in common. So we extract from each conversation some highlights, some ideas, and we, we, we put them in common in, in, the, in the session. It was a session mostly in French, so, uh, but it, it was the, the, the only way to, to do that because here uh, English is not spoken. Um, uh, so some good things about the project again and some bad, not so good things. Um, as I said, um, uh, the, the confinement, the, the common experience, of confinement uh, was a very good way to think about the territory um, without an ideological point of view. Uh, and for me, this is very, very good because here the, the opinion in general is very, very, uh, I don't know how to say, polarized or uh, so. Uh, most of the of the times, uh, people speak from uh, a point of view, an ide ideological point of view, and not from a real point of view. And another good thing thing was that um, people participating in the project feel uh, also in the session that um, they were connected with other territories outside Ariège. And this is a very good thing here because Arre Ariège and, and Kuseran especially uh, are very, very, very isolated territories. Uh, and this is not good for, for developing new ideas or, or changing uh, ideas that are not good. Uh, here, there, is, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, fake news and things like that. So these two things were super, very, very, very good um, in, in all the process. And maybe a, um, a bad thing was that um, uh, the project uh, at the beginning had two parts. The first part was this, uh, recording this podcast and having these peer-to-peer -peer conversations. And the second part was to put all this conversation in common in, in a kind of gathering. Uh, I really like the, the, the gathering you, you do uh, uh, in Berlin. Uh, that is, is a dream for us. I, I mean, it's very, very, very good. The thing you, you, you take care, the, the way you take care of things in, in, in all the process. I, I really, I really love that. Uh, so it's an inspiration for us. Um, and hopefully uh, we, we, we will do that in, in, a, in, in, in the future. But because of the, um, of the condition of the confinement here in France and because of many things, uh, we didn't do that. It was the, the second part of the project, uh, we didn't do that. So um, uh, uh, we didn't put in common all the ideas that came up in this peer to peer conversation. So this is, this is a, a not so good thing. Uh, this more or less was the project and the future of the project or the embassy. Um, well, 
uh, I would like to, to make this uh, gathering to put in common all the all the ideas to 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 close to really close the the process. That would be great. Uh, mm, and maybe uh, I really like the 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 sound uh, the, the the podcast format because it uh, gave me the, the the opportunity to change the way I listen to people because when I'm uh, talking to a people uh, thinking questions for this person. And, um, and listening carefully to, to the answers. Um, we are in a peer-to-peer -peer conversation. I have discovered a, a very com a, a comple a completely another, another way to, 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 to listen to, to a person. And this is very, very powerful. And I can imagine a process where uh, everybody in the process listen to each other in this way before starting to take in decisions and i think it could be very very powerful so maybe in the future uh, i i want to 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 think a little bit more in this idea and to work with this idea in a in another process maybe with another subject not the confinement because this is another bad thing. I, I, I'm a little bit tired of this subject. We, we are talking all the time about the confirmation. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and that's it. Thank you, Alfonso. It was uh, amazing how you destroy the concept of gathering. <laughs> Instead of gathering, you said like the, the parliament is going to explode into everywhere else and then gather together in another digital form of a web page to go again to spread all over the world i don't know and everything through the this experience that is that is talking about the sound is is such an amazing i i remember a lot the the conversations we had when we were talking about this it was only like listening with a completely different mode i don't know thank you very much yeah, thank you to, to you. I, I, I say to you uh, in the evaluation session, but uh, it was really, really a pleasure to, to, to have so much freedom uh, from you to, 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 to be able to break all the rules. And <laughs> that was cool, really cool. Thank you. Mm, okay, so we continue with uh, Ces Protea, Cristina, if you want to share your experience. Thank you. Yay, thank you. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Aurora, the whole team. Um, I think I shared it with you before, but it was uh, for me an amazing experience. Before I share with you a little bit the outputs with the Thespratia Parliament, I wanted also to say that I was um, present in the Parliament of the Girls here in Berlin. And I think they created an amazing uh, caring and, and, and uh, learning environment that it was really, it, it was, it was a, a really like a, an oasis in the pandemic and and within this uh, you know like format that we are living nowadays and yeah it, it was a uh, this is what i want to say to the girls <laughs> thank you for that thank you <laughs> um and from our side uh, from the thesprotea parliament uh, I wanted also to thank you because actually we took this opportunity to create for the first time a discussion between the people, uh, local communities, uh, initiatives, and, and uh, local stakeholders in Epiros. And this is for me, it was like, and this is the beginning. And I think this was the, something that it really, uh, it, it really helped to happen this 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 parliament uh, what we wanted to do our first 
uh, initial goal was um, uh, yeah to create a discussion among all these different parts uh, of how they imagine uh, of different imaginaries that they could be open ended and social social political uh, for the area um, and also a contribute somehow to the discussion that it's happening worldwide or European in the European level uh, regarding uh, giving greater appreciation to the livelihood practices in this kind of rural areas and also contributing to a new language of the of the of this kind of rural areas. Um, the way that we the way that we have uh, we developed it somehow the, the it was a uh, unfortunately, um, a digital session that it gives us some uh, prompts. It was some. It has some prompts and cons that we're going to discuss later. Uh, but the way that we have constructed it is it's that we managed to to meet as many people as possible this digitally and take interviews from them, responding in three main questions that you have also uh, initiated from the urban declarations of, uh, from the universal declarations of urban rights. Uh, and these three questions, what, what needs to be protected, what uh, can be eradicated and what can be introduced new to the area. And this somehow started a conversation and I'm still like receiving videos of the people uh, and, and voice messages that we haven't managed to, to include all of, the, all of them in the video that we presented during the parliament, but somehow uh, initiated like a discussion among different like parts of the, of the whole region. Um, and, I, and I think it was interesting because it, it, it gave the opportunity for the first time to start thinking uh, also people uh, people from different ages. We, we have shared this with teachers um, in the schools uh, of the area. Uh, I got like messages from students that they were like from 12 years old until 18 years old from older people, uh, uh, from women initiatives that we have been working on. So this was something that uh, for us, uh, it was super amazing to see this, this uh, somehow discussion happening. In the parliament, we put together as many voices as we managed to, to gather uh, at that point. Um, and yeah, we have in, we invited as well uh, um, young initiatives that they are uh, also working in the area. Uh, people that they have been uh, doing studies and, uh, and workshops with, uh, with local techniques somehow or, or reviving local techniques and also people that they have been, uh, they, they decided to go and live there and work with, uh, uh, with uh, wool or with uh, um, circular economies. Um, and also people that they were working with more digital uh, uh, and makers lab. So we try to, to somehow to do a cross section and bring all these kind of uh, voices together and have like an open discussion. Uh, in our invites, I was very happy in our, the people who were listening this were also people from the local uh, municipality that we also invited to be present and, and hear all these kind of discussions. Um, and, yeah, we also created a, a mirror with the help of the amazing Natasha. We created like a mirror exercise. Uh, I don't know if you have seen it. Maybe I can share you some of the screens or I can share it later. I don't know. Should I share it? You should. You should. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, uh, here. So yeah, we had this uh, little exercise that for it was like a little bit 
trick in the beginning, uh, but we had this exercise of like saying in which parts of the of Greece or Epirus are coming from, and then all these uh, uh, initiatives and groups to show their connections. And somehow we have this uh, super cool map now that it, 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 we try to translate this diagram showing like the connections that they have or the connections they want to have as well. Um, and also sharing their voices regarding the these three main questions uh, of the of the area. Uh, what we are now in the process, we are currently in the process of creating this documentation with all this uh, information that we got from the mirror board, but also uh, from the response that is we still receiving from people of the of the of the area and creating like a short documentation to send it to the local municipality. I have all, already contacted with them um, to be aware that we are like uh, sending this as a voice coming from the, uh, from the different communities around Thesprotia. Um, regarding the digital session itself, I would say for me it was challenging because uh, personally, uh, I, I didn't have, have the chance before to, to organize and somehow curate or uh, understand how a digital session works. You know, when you are in a physical environment, it could be um, some things, I don't know, the, the, you don't have to pre-consider everything from the beginning. And I think the, something that happened is that we, we extended the time. <laughs> So we overpassed our time um, during the parliament, and for me it was like this this, this struggle that we couldn't actually do the uh, like extended discussions longer, um, including also different people. We try to have discuss. I mean, the whole presentations were in English, but we also we try to incorporate uh, answers and questions from in both languages, Greek and English. Um, and yeah, I would say this was a little bit challenging, but I, I learned through this experience a lot and also talking with this, uh, with this initiatives, with this young initiatives that, um, uh, I, I knew their work, but never had the chance also to, to, to talk with them in a more profound way, uh, around the area. Uh, and what's happening now that is it, for me it's, uh, it's super interesting is that we are organizing a physical parliament in the area and this is will be the next step for the summer hopefully it can happen or uh, what we are discussing now with the municipality there uh, is to create like a smaller parliaments with less people but at least this can work in a physical setting in two of the sites that, oh, that they have been um, uh, running by two women initiatives in the area that they're the ones that are like uh, keeping somehow this, this, whole, um, this whole region moving. Uh, they're the ones that are creating cultural events, uh, open fiesta. So we want somehow to, to give them voice as well. And we are planning to create this physical parliament in two sides, if we cannot have it in one, and also be somehow have these two uh, formats, a uh, digital that someone can also uh, be invited and be part of it digitally and also physically. Um, two of the people that we have invited, two of the groups that we, were there, we, we invited as experts, uh, the makers lab that are called Jew makers and the uh, uh, and uh, Lena, which, who was the woman who initiated a, a place of working with wool and, and different textiles, uh, they are also going to be invited. Uh, we have also contacted them already, and they're going to do some two workshops around this parliament. So this is something that uh, just give you a heads up of what we're planning to do this summer uh, in July. Um, and yeah, as a, as a future step, uh, already we are thinking that it will be amazing if we can manage to, to keep these parliaments happening or these encounters happening every, uh, every year, at least once per year, talking about the issues of the area, 
and and bringing like um, uh, young groups and initiatives that are working in communities that they have similar they face similar they are in similar situations and they face similar uh, problematics and um, yeah have they create like a kind of um, regular uh, regular encounter so for me I think that this that, that this first uh, gathering this first parliament talking about this protea for the first time it was a huge step for the area and it gives me it gives me a lot of pleasure that i was part of it so thank you thank you christina it was it was something we were talking at the very beginning no this this uh two moments parliament one is like you know the, the digital sphere and the other one on the physical sphere and uh, something that we also talk about it in the in RES, no, in the how the digital can can be managed in the physical way in the countryside and and put all these people together. And I would love to see this um, this chart that you made of connections in Miro. How would you do it in the real world? You you cannot use Miro. You have to use like a physical physical ways to express all these connections i would love to see that this is the this is the whole idea Luis. So, and i think uh, if we manage to be there and create a physical meeting with digital somehow capabilities it will be interesting to to bring uh, also initiatives from other areas um, uh, alfonso also knows from other places around the, around uh, Europe that they have been working and living in this kind of similar environments also to, to share experiences and see and, and understand this kind of, for me, this is the most amazing thing, to have this kind of imaginaries for these areas uh, that it could be, yeah, it could be open and, and collective. And I think this is, it is something that uh, it gives me a lot of motivation for this parliament. Thank you very much, Christina, for your parliament and for the... Um, okay, so, uh, and Wapa, Amberes, David and Martin, it's uh, your turn. All right. Thank you very much. Have you? Ah, okay. So we didn't prepare anything. Um, we, we expected Luisa to present uh, the conclusions and uh, <laughs> not having to do it ourselves. But uh, <laughs> okay. So as you can see, we organized an event um, based on the on the question what uh, urban rights is or what it could mean and because we are not lawyers or uh, legal uh, experts we we thought it might be best to start with uh, asking people who are experts so we invited um, a professor from uh, the university of antwerp and some uh, the founder of an organization called um, uh, clear rights translated into english so we had some theory about um, uh, what are uh, rights and how are they structured uh, when and, and how do they relate with uh, with the city and secondly we learned about this social um, uh, social enterprise clear right that gives access to law so they uh, they believe it is uh, everybody's right uh, to um, to be helped by lawyers, uh, but no, not everyone has access to it. So they developed a very intelligent platform uh, for people to ask uh, questions and be helped by volunteers, uh, legal experts, to uh, when when people are in trouble or uh, don't, cannot afford a lawyer. Okay, so there was the a bit of the theory, there was the practice, and uh, we, I think in the next step, uh, David will probably, we would like to make or uh, draw conclusions from this and uh, do some more uh, active or visible campaign 
about one or two of these uh, urban rights that we discovered to, in, in, in our session. Mm. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> now, during the... Um, yeah, because we didn't prepare anything. Um, I, I, I listed some things in, in, in three categories. Um, but it's more about the whole experience. Um, I divided in, in difficulties, opportunities and expectations. Um, for us, it was very difficult in the beginning, the, the understanding of the project. Um, I, I was talking many hours with Luiso just to understand what we had to do. Um, and, and, and that made it a bit complicated. Um, and then I, I saw it was very free, um, what we had to do. And, and this maybe extreme freedom made it maybe also a bit complicated to collaborate with other embassies. Um, if there would have been a more, um, clear line and then chosen the projects within this line it might have been a bit more easy to collaborate and then maybe this is uh our fault i don't know but um by by trying to understand the project and and looking for a project to do because we didn't prep, we didn't had uh um a project to uh, to use in in the urban rights session. It was very time consuming, and maybe so time con time consuming that we didn't attend to um, to other parliamentary sessions. So that's those were the difficulties. Then for the opportunities, I think. Um, the project is so interesting, so we we started to think about something. It, it was an excuse to think about something, and we started to think about, uh, especially the urban rights. What are urban rights? And that's why we arrived uh, a bit to the project and to the speakers we we found. Um, and it was nice to to really investigate and 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 invite those peoples or those experts in these fields of the urban rights. What I also found interesting was that we needed uh, someone in a more, um, with more practical, maybe more grassroots experiences. And that's when we uh, asked Licia um, for someone from a construct lab to to talk about the project. And uh, Alicia passed us the, the contact of Lucas Evolder, uh, Construct Lab um, guy here in Belgium. So that was a uh, super cool. Thanks, Alicia. Um, and the expectations, like Martin told in the beginning, I was hoping to receive a bit from uh, maybe Lucien Aurora um, some very short conclusions and and that maybe you can uh because you follow the whole process of everybody that you make really small conclusions that happened in berlin that happened in italy maybe we could do this or that i don't know um so just having some feedback but but general feedback that would be uh super cool and that's about it, I think. Okay, thank you very much. I really love that we've been uh, given these uh, responsibilities. That now is your turn to talk. I know I, you were supposed to talk here, there, and now. When when you, I was on your parliament, I thought I was being part of the parliament, but I so I have to present the Campo de la Cebada. So I have like, but I'm not supposed to be on the other side. <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, bueno, thank you very much because it was very, 
a special uh, um, with you, like trying to understand. I have to be sincere that, uh, that this uh, methodology of prototyping is it's uh, learning by doing. And I was learning of how to communicate a project that I was that we were also creating in our minds and 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 making us clear at the same time that I would I have to communicate it to you to make it clear. So it was kind of a moment that within the conversation it was being clarified for both of us. So thank you for that. Thank you for um, trying to understand what was all even difficult for me to understand in my mind. So I can imagine you on the other side. <laughs> I, I remember those first conversation as, as, uh, as a big learning process for me. Um, and I will tell you my, my comments, uh, like very shortly, briefly. Um, but uh, for me, the, the mediation that it was the first time I did the, this uh, mediation in such a um, an amazing project, but also like uh, difficult to, to be in the middle of, of these situations that you don't really know what's going to happen. And uh, the, the implications and the responsibilities and <coughs> the way each of the embassies was developing, it was a completely different way. So for me, it was a, a lot of learning to, to mediate between all of the different uh, aspects and be in the middle without really uh, knowing what was my position, kind of like uh, as, as Alfonso was saying, like uh, multi, uh, multi pertinence, like being part of the project, but then in another side, and then I have to reshape my, my setting to understand that you were doing the work and you were actually being the ones that I have to listen. I don't have to uh, guide you in a, in a way. I, I was understanding ourselves, we were learning from you, but at the same time, we have to guide somehow the process. So it was kind of difficult and that very interesting, this mediation, very challenging from our project. Actually, it's, it's the first time we did a, like such a distributed edition in such a free way, in a free manner. And uh, I was, I mean, the, the feeling I have, it's, it's a, a, like a, a huge thank you because you were being a prototypes. You all, all the embassies were doing something that have never been done. We have done this project many times, but we were the one doing it. It wasn't like somebody else is doing it, no? And, and it's such a learning process to, uh, develop all the tools that you need to give to somebody to be able to develop their own thing and make it valuable for their own uh, territory, you know? something that is relevant to do concerning the people that is doing the territory, the, the issues that they want to follow and the format. For us, it was something uh, very enriching and I'm, I'm really pleased. I don't know if Aurora want to comment something. Can I'm gonna share. Uh, I'm gonna share the screen uh, for a moment. Um, well, the original idea of all this was really like simple. It was like, okay, we are. Uh, well, David, for example, you have done uh, a lot of parliaments before. But we are really, we, we really didn't know how to manage to organize this kind of atmosphere or this kind of space, this kind of regulate. How can we regulate or distribute voices or how can we really organize the, um, a session to get to, to, to get to know each other or to emphasize between different territories and so on. So the idea was like really clear at the beginning. It was, okay, we, are, we have uh, people, we have events, and we have the learnings, and that's it. So I think it's, um, and we are gonna iterate somehow the, um, the scheme of the, or the event, but each of you should uh, contextualize in, in your communities, in your context, in your 
in your real life, the way you approach the project. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we want to thank you all because I know it's been really hard to do this <laughs> and it's been, um, we, we, we've been like struggling with the, the idea of um, throw you to this position somehow. It's like, okay, it was like a great idea in our heads, but it's been like really difficult to handle the, um, the second phase of the project of the execution of the parliaments because we were like, okay, we want to learn how to do a parliament and we want to share these learnings. We don't have these learnings, so we have to uh, connect with friends all of Europe to 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 try to do it in different ways in different contexts and so on so the idea was like okay um we, we need to establish some infrastructure we we need to establish some connections and some uh, communication channels between each other to share the difficulties to to to, to get to know us better and I think it's been hard through all the autumn and the winter uh, to do so. So I think it's amazing how you solve the papeleta, resolver la papeleta, we say in Spanish. And I think it was amazing how you how you have been able to uh, develop so 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 much work. And in just a few months, and this um, this freedom, uh, it, it's it it could be considered like freedom, but it's also the lack of guides of guidelines, as you say. So it's perfect for one and Basi, for example, because they are like comfortable with the project, or with they 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 were more comfortable with the expectations, or or they are more aware of what we are expecting of each embassy. And with others, it's like, okay, but what the hell are they guys, are these guys want to know? So for us, it's, um, it's well, it's it's amazing to have this kind of feedback because we are not only, we, we, we don't not, uh, we want to keep the project going deeper into this idea of embassies. I think it's um, a good uh, image or a good um, a good way of relating the global goal with the local context. But ambassador should be comfortable, <laughs> no. So sorry, uh, in, in, on behalf of the project, for this uh, lack of guidelines when you've been needing this. But I don't know. We went, um, and, and also because maybe we we um, uh, abusar de la confianza, as as we are like we know each other, and there are a lot of um, affective relations between each of us. Uh, maybe we we haven't do it. What? Yeah. What, what we take a bit uh, of the advantage of being of the friendship. Yes. Thank you, Luisa. <laughs> and if, if you would do it again, the same project, but with people that you don't know, the, what do you think you would be, you would do different to, to launch a project like this? Okay, well, and um I'm, I'm just i just want to say one thing yes que, um at the beginning when we were designing the project we were thinking about this idea of parliaments like a really structured interest in a uh, structured staff uh, in order to be able to design how to relate with people you don't know it's like, okay, we are really allied here. 
but the parliament is supposed to compose different knowledges, different perspectives and people with different backgrounds, different ages and so on. So the idea was to design a comfortable space to, to, to fix all these things. But it was really hard to think about something that, uh, well, that, that distant for, from our point. Aurora, I want to say something if we can. Yeah, also, wait, wait a minute, because I have to stop this. Cristina and uh, um, Matt and Licia, if you want, um, if we want to end something, uh, okay. go on. We have just one more dynamic to talk about what we are talking right now. It's like the future of the project together. Mm. So feel free to express yourself. Yeah. I think we are already there. <laughs> also. Yes, Aurora, I think you were being a bit too negative now. Um, for me, I have to say that uh, I appreciated this um, freedom you gave us a lot. It, um, and also, I, I was totally, um, or I think I can say for us, we were totally um, appreciating also the structure and the clearness of the structure you gave to, to let the freedom for the topic and let the freedom for the evolution inside. Um, and actually, the format that you proposed, it gave a lot of liberty to just focus on what topic you want to develop. So, um, so in a way, it's for me, it's a very ideal way of doing projects to say, we pay you not for a, a product, but we, we pay you for a learning experience and we give you even support to share this learning experience. It's great. <laughs> I, I agree with Masha. And I think that, I, I don't think that the project uh, would change if we didn't know each other. Maybe the communications between each other could be uh, more formal, I don't know, but I don't think the project results or, or how the project evolved mm -hmm. would be different. Um, I, I would like, I raise my hand because I think I would like to, to, to share two things uh, also that it, it, uh, this project uh, somehow brought to my mind and maybe I don't know if it's the moment, but maybe we can discuss them later. Um, uh, this idea of parliament that you, because your uh, your proposal, the proposal, it has these two amazing, like different uh, no notions. One is the rights, the urban rights, and the other one is the idea of parliament. And for me, this idea of parliament that is a different from one encounter or a discussion that you have with each other, it was like bugging my mind the whole time. And I, I would like also to, to discuss this with other parliaments and, and what does it mean to have a parliament, basically. I remember when I was explaining this into Greek with the people from the community there, they were like, wow, but are we taking part in a parliament? Because they... The, the idea that they had in, that there is a parliament is that you have this formal you know, setting with people that you, you, they represent you to talk from you. And we went to this idea of the initial parliaments that they were happening in the, uh, you know, when the democracy was uh, uh, initiated in Athens. Uh, it's called Ecclesia to Dimu in Greek, that the, all the people were taking part of the decision making. And for me, this was amazing to start this discussion in the in the region uh, challenging this idea of parliament this is the one the first one and the other one about the urban rights um, it was for me very eye-opening in the parliament of uh, david and martin that you invited a, a lawyer and i was it was so amazing to see that from the other perspective of what actually how can you find fight for your rights or what are your rights in there in the urban settings or in the in the say I mean in the where you live? Uh, and this was also very interesting. Just to po point this to for discussion later. Thank you. Yeah, I, I agree, and I think it's a, it's a good point for the project to to let each context develop the the idea since the since they have necessities. Could be a topic. It could be uh, a, a, a place like a park, or it could be whatever. But maybe we should um, organize. Uh, well, we we should establish the infrastructure, the connection infrastructure, before to con connect 
with each other. And um, for sure, uh, be prepared to spend at least uh, the double or <laughs> of hours, something like this. It's like, okay, with the money we, we, we got, we should, um, we should, um, well, we, we were expected, I, I think, to, to prepare like three parliaments, no, not more, spending a lot of, uh, and, and to double our time, for example. Riso and I should, um, should have like a more, like a, like a company that um, the, ambas the, the embassy is more, yeah, to reserve more time for each of the presses. I want to say something about the the general feeling of the communications between the embassies. That was a big struggle for us, because um, at this, at, like learning from the others, that is the, like one of the big points of of the urban parliament. It was very hard uh, to implement between the embassies because it takes time. Like we were saying, like, are we going to do another meeting? Like, no way, no. We cannot ask for more meetings. Okay, so let's do it. I mean, let's connect to peer to peer, as Alfonso was saying. Like, okay, we connect this aspect that is working with us, this aspect. No, we kind of shape the idea of having general meetings to maybe connect some aspects of the the parliament that they were doing, doing something similar. They could connect with each other. And at the very beginning, we, tr we first uh, initiated this process of seeing what was the similarities. But you became so, um, so creative and do it in such a special way. Each one of you that at the end, it was like, okay, uh, maybe, maybe it was more like late than do that uh, connected. So to see if they have the time to learn from the other. And for us, it was like, uh, it, I, I have to admit that it was like something that we expected to happen a little bit more, but on the process, we also accepted and we were flexible that maybe was not the point. Maybe is that's the difficult thing to do because it takes a lot of time to get to know to the others and to get to know not only between us, but also between the local people that we're meeting and having the time for the ambassadors to do all these communications and, and to also to communicate a process at the same time that you are doing it, it, it takes a lot of time. Like instead of communicating something that you have already done, it's more like, okay, here's what I did. You know, it's like, I, I don't have time to tell you what I'm doing because I'm doing it, you know? So it was a big struggle for us, but I don't, I kind of don't regret that we didn't have the time. I don't know, it was more like, this is how it was. This is how pandemic time and that also is and it was a, a big learning for me that we don't have the time it's very difficult to find the time so each of the time together have to be is um very uh, very well uh, implemented very well uh, uh, designed so that we can profit that and the design we had was the opening the five parliament and the closing and it was like if we do something more it's i don't know and then we uh, implemented some ways, the bars that some works for some people, some people never show up, but then we learn a lot also from that spaces. It's like, okay, they just, it was just something that maybe somebody, even, even us, we were not able to be on the bar. So something that like, are you going to the bar or not? Uh, I'll try. And I was late for some days and some people were waiting. And so it was kind of this situation that uh, the time consuming was very hard and all these communications and so many forms to communicate because we were doing by mail we were doing by zoom we were doing it by the the telegram we were also preparing the the uh, uh the, uh, la news, the newsletter of what we were doing of what was going on what was going on in the different embassies so at the end it was kind of let's see what people want and each of the embassies and us like even between Aurora and me, it's like a very different way to, to use the different technologies and the communication system. So we're like, are you using this? Okay, no, I'm using this, but how are you communicating to these people? Have you done this? And did you get to know that? It's like, do we not all at the same time? It was 
exhausting, but it was such a learning experience. And um, thank you for that. Thank you very much for for giving also us the the your feedbacks through the ways you had, even though you they were your own ways and they were not the ways that you, you were supposed to do it. We kind of learn a lot from people saying, I, I don't have time to for this. Even for that was uh, something that we didn't take it into like, oh, come on, I, I commit you to do this type of process and you were supposed to be here, no? Or you were supposed to participate in this conversation. For us, we're more like, no, there is no possibility for these people to have a conversation on the way we design. So let's see another way or let's see the way it works for these people, no? But to implement all those ways in the same at the same time, it's kind of hard for us. So thank you, anyone. And uh, we kind of, we're running out of time. I don't know if Aurora, you want to? Um, ah. You? Uh, sí, sí. Alfredo? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just uh, one thing that, uh, about this. Um, I think that uh, connection needs uh, time. Yes, it's difficult to force it, no? I think that uh, now we know uh, five realities more in the, in in Europe that uh, in the future maybe we need to contact for a project or for asking something. I think that it works. Uh, the the time was very very short and we had to uh, um, doing the project the process and and so. Um, communicate with other embassies, it was difficult. But uh, maybe in the future, we know uh, that there are different ways to do things in very interesting uh, realities. And it's, it's, it's a very good things. It's a goal. Awesome. Can I... Okay, Aurora. How do we how do we do? Uh, a ver. Son anfitrión. ¿Qué está pasando? Me estoy intentando compartir una cosa y, y se resiste. Aquí. Um, speaking uh, about these futures stuff. Uh, ¿Qué pasa? No está. Aquí. Compartir. Esto es lo que quería compartir. ¿Se está ahí, viendo ahí el miro o, me, o sí. mi calendario? No, no, estamos viendo el miro. <laughs> vale. We're watching Miro again. Okay, thank you, Luisa. Well, for example, uh, speaking about this regularity and the bars, for example, I've, I've, I think we've tried, uh, due to the um, digital embassy, a lot of different uh, communication tools. And for example, I'm, I'm, I'm using this idea of bars to keep going with the project in 2021. I missed a lot these um, interviews, like going outside and ask people. And I think now we should come create the public space because <laughs> we are like going to, from one point to another without speaking to each other. And I'm committed to do more interviews during this year, for example. And as I'm, I was um, talking with some friends to, to do these interviews, I think I'm gonna use the bars as a way of gathering and in a more informal way to do these interviews. So I will arrange a meeting, for example, with four, five friends to answer the three questions and maybe have chat later, like a kind of informal parliament. And stuff like that. This is like um, um, a low commitment with the project. Well, a medium commitment with the project. I'm gonna do during this 2021. Uh, but I don't know. I, as you know, we want you to join the whole project. I think we are running out of time, so it's difficult to have now like the time to, to go deeper into the different ways we can share or we can gather during this year. But for example, we can, if you want to, we can think about a tool for communication 
because maybe if you don't do some gatherings or whatever you want the the net or the, the rest of the ambassadors to to go to your events or maybe we can support you or we can connect in some some time in some parts or i don't know there are a lot of different ways to connect with the whole project and i don't know i don't know if you're interested in explore some of them so it's organized <laughs> one, one important thing is that you are already part of the net. So you will be knowing about what uh, the evolution of this project and many of the projects and editions that we are involved as, as big project urban rights. But uh, we would love to have also uh, feedbacks from you not only by like I've been doing a, a parliament uh, or uh, I mean not only as as the what we have done here but also uh, about like methodologies or the learnings that you have during this process that maybe in another project in another situation in another um, opportunity uh, we would love to have it to hear back what are you doing and maybe we can establish the net because since we are in contact we will probably if we hear what you're doing we'll probably have somebody around and tell them like you should go to see what they're doing on that place no we we think of, about the net to be as active as as they want to be each of the points no this is what mm -hmm. we have like different types of of commitments even if you don't want, like, I cannot, I'm, I'm going to focus on my own stuff. Like when you remember that you were learning about this communication tools or this invisible, then you can um, please feel free to contact the way you want it to keep on telling us or about any interesting thing that you're doing that you think it might be interesting for for what we were the conversations that we are we have been having during all this process please let us know and please invite us to be part uh, of your learning process and of the development of the methodologies that we have mm -hmm. learned in this process yeah and also as we are like having a uh, brand new website <laughs> oh yeah absolutely uh, Let's contribute to the to, to the web. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's gather. There's also one commitment: the we're going to send you this uh, on-process handbook of of how because you are in there. I don't know if if we, if it ha it was clear for you. On we have been looking at your projects to develop this guide and this guide is going to be uh, put it all over the world and all the learnings that you were having it's going to be in the parliaments all over okay. so we're going to send it for you so you can spread it you can use it you can do whatever you want and also on the platform on the website that, that we're doing in the archive all, all the conversations that we had we are going to have all these material being uploaded in many different uh, categories and in many different ways to to profit uh, from the archive of of you were we will tell you a lot about it soon mm -hmm. when we have this uh, the website on it's almost on i mean the whole architecture is there we just need to to paint the walls to unfold it it's almost there the whole design is there, the whole uh, contenido, the, the content is there. So very soon, we will give mm. you all these feedbacks. Mm. You will have it, but we would love you to give us your feedbacks about your work. And let us know by mail or through the mirror board how, how you want to be connected to the project. It would be nice to have like permanent ambassadors. I think also, guys, if I might add, uh, it's also interesting besides of giving each other feedbacks to establish also discussions. No, I mean, in this, 
I would say for me, it will be very interesting if we can have another meeting like this, instead of like uh, sharing, saying who did it, how, but to start an open discussion regarding like how you do this kind of parliaments, uh, what, the, what it can be learned from each of us and our ideas on that. So I think it's also interesting, yes, to start like uh, um, sharing discussions. Of course, feedbacks are important, <laughs> but it's something that we can do also on Miro and yeah, I mean, to mm -hmm. develop on the next stage. Mm -hmm. Thank you, please. We have one, one, we want to do a picture before we all leave. Mm -hmm. There is uh, some of you that tell me that uh, we have to go like in five minutes. So let me try to do one picture, but in a different way. I am going to tell you to put your, your hands. So I'm going to kind of direct so we can connect to one to another in a way that I'm looking at my picture. So Cristina, you have to be just like this. Alfredo, are you there? You have to be like a, in an angle like this. Perfect, perfect. Alfonso, you have to be like this. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at me, Luiso. Ah, okay. I'm Only <laughs> <in my> <laughs> That's so, perfect position. Not... Rearrange the window, Luiso, or whatever. Oh, oh la pequeña. <laughs> so, <laughs> la pequeña. I'm going to be uh, the, the ah. No, <laughs> okay, 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 no worry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Aurora, you like this? Perfect. Lizia Mazza, like this? Perfect. Y Martin and David, like this? The, the, the other way around. That way and down. Okay. And now. Wait, wait, that was uh, 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 now me. Uh, this is more difficult. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. That was it. Again, you did it very well. You are super thin pros.